Hi, this is Jennifer Griffin with GoFetch Marketing, and this video is for Voight CPA services on how to make a blog post. So um, what I've got here is the back end of your site. I've already logged in. I have already sent you the login information with the login screen, username, and password. So using that information, you should be able to get to this point. Once you're on the back end of the site, and I'm strictly going to talk about blog posting here, I'll send you other tutorial videos on how to make changes to the pages. But to make a blog post, all you do is go to, over here on the left side you see all the different modules. You want to go to posts. Just go ahead and click on all posts so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is the first blog post I did. So um, once you start getting more and more posts, you'll see them all listed here. So the next thing you want to do is hit Add New. And we're going to call this, this is a test post. Now, it's fairly easy. You can either do a blog post outside of here and cut and paste it, or it looks a little like a Word document. It's just a text editor, so you can immediately just start typing what you want. This is a test post for a tutorial video for Voight CPA services, and you can type away. You can bold it, italicize. This little button here extends the options. As you can see, text color, so forth. So once you've got it all typed in, then the important thing over here, this is just a standard post. You can pretty much ignore all this. You're not going to be doing audio, video. If you get that, that sophisticated, we can then do other uh, videos to help you with that. But over here is probably one of the more important things um, is to make sure you categorize this post. So let's say you wrote a post about filing... 2019 taxes. I don't know if I'd be that specific. I might just make a category called income tax returns. And then you hit add new category. So now you've got a general category and try and keep categories relatively general. Um, income tax returns, uh, financial statements, business accounting, maybe kind of high level, and then categorize your posts under that. You don't want to get overwhelmed with too many categories. We don't want hundreds and hundreds of categories. So once you've done that and you've, you've categorized it, we can go ahead and publish it. So go back up here and hit publish. And then let's go over here. Sometimes I like to have two tabs open so I can just look at this, the live site on one tab and the other. So now we're at your website. Let's go over here and hit blog. And there it comes up. I have set so much of the verbiage to show on the blog page. And if they want to read more, they can hit read more. And you can tell here, I'm logged in as Jennifer, so this post was by me, which I'm gonna delete. But um, you could also see the category income tax returns. So eventually what's gonna happen here, so if it was a longer post, you'd hit read more, and you could read the rest of it, but it's only one sentence. So um, this is the individual page for that specific post. So let me hit back. Like I was saying, eventually we'll have enough categories here that we'll put some kind of sidebar here that shows the categories people can pick from. So if they're coming to your blog just to read about accounting and things that for knowledge, they can go over here and pick a specific topic that they want to read about and all the blog posts related to that topic will come up. So I try and keep these videos very simple and easy and straightforward. And then if my clients start really getting into blogging and doing a lot, then we'll go back and we'll address tagging them, um, really optimizing them for SEO. But I think the first and hardest thing for all my clients to do is just tackle doing them. Um, and, and once they start doing that, it, it becomes relatively easier to understand it and do it. But let me go back up here to the back end again.
Let me click over here, posts. So now you've got two posts. I'm gonna delete this though. So I just hover over it and hit trash. You can also, if you wanna set your categories before you even start blog post, all these posts, just hit categories. Oh, and there's some that already came in here. But um, I'm gonna delete trends. I'm gonna delete archive. There's income tax returns, news and finance, and you could sit here and add a category accounting that will automatically populate the slug so you don't need to necessarily worry about that and you could scroll all the way down hit add new category and there it is so now when you go to create a post let me show you again a new post here's all the categories you could just click one or sometimes a, a blog post might fall under two categories. Let's say it's about accounting and finance for a business. You could click both categories and it would post under both categories. So that's a really brief macro level view of how to make a blog post. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.